Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all the Akimath on the four corners, teaching the truth and sincerity. This is Thatcher Required Moth, here with the brother. A rock, Shalom. You know, coming at you with a quick lesson. Lord's will is edifying to the hopeful elect. Um, we, we're just going to uh, lay them back on, off of uh, the points that was made uh, on uh, Saturday class um, that the camp went in on going into uh, uh, the the conduct, you know, uh, that Amanda Yahweh by Shai, you know, uh, should be going into or, or or should be abiding by, you know, because uh, in that illustration that the elder painted uh, on on that movie Star Wars, how Anakin Skywalker, you know, how how they were testing his spirit, you know, because he had a lot of fear in him. OK, that's why you how about Shimei Al-Shai wants us to be single minded. All right, so so we are not strayed uh, to the ways of this world. All right, and we should uh, cleave unto Him for everything that is good, and, and uh, allow the Spirit to move us above all things. But Baba Kusha, you, you have a precept. Yeah, we can open up with this. Um, <clears throat> this is um, Second Timothy chapter two. And um, I'll start at verse 3, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. See? See, it says we must endure hardness, all right? Uh, especially the ways of this world that we're uh, uh, living in, all right? It's hard upon uh, the, the um, righteous men that seek after him. But Salak, if you're interrupting. No, I'm reading mean, it for you. It's for you. You got it. Verse 4, it says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. See? Uh, no man entangle him, him himself, which which that can mean uh, uh, getting comfortable on this side, you know, getting wives, you know, uh, children, land you know because these are things to distract you from the overall goal which is getting out of here you know praying on praying unto you how about shimmy all shy all these distractions because everybody wants your energy if you have kids they want your energy if you have a wife she wants your energy all right this world desires you you know and that's why it says loosely paraphrasing how how um satan the desire to sift Peter, all right? It's, it's, it's the same thing for everybody else. That's why Elder Yashazak always says, you know, put your name there, all right? Because Satan desires to sift up us as well, especially out of this ministry, because this is the uh, light that we're walking in. Mm -hmm. But if, if you got another one, Baba Kishan. Yeah, I got another one real quick. Just to, you know, lay a backdrop. You know, with a couple of precepts. Baba Kusha. This is um uh let me see. First John chapter two. And uh do you know where it says uh uh perfect uh I forget uh the perfect uh love casts out fear? Precept is hmm? where it talks about um, perfect love casteth out fear. Roughly paraphrasing, <clears throat> let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, uh, like, you know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know if that's uh, Paul. Or... I can find it real quick. So I can, you, you, you can. Nah, nah, nah. It's, go into it's, whatever you're gonna go into. It's called swap, you know, because um, how 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 by Shimei Shai has set up this whole world 
for, for, for us to be tested, okay? And and he, you found it? Yeah. This is in Ephesians? No, it's 1 John. Okay, come on. 1 John 4 and 18. And it reads, it says, there is no, <laughs> matter of fact, we start verse 17. 1 John 4 and 17 says, herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, hmm. because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. And I just wanted to pull that because that links up with the uh, the message of you know this lesson, which is basically that we have to completely let go of uh, our lives on this side. Huh. You know, Revelation twelve and twelve comes to mind. You know, um, they love not their lives unto, unto, death. unto death. You know, and a part of that is getting over your fear of loss, right? Getting over your fear of, uh, you know, anything on this side being uh, taken away from you. And that's the spirit, because we just watched the movie, The, the Hunger Games, last night. And that one line that they kept saying in the movie, uh, in that song, was, uh, there's nothing you can take from me that uh, isn't worth or <laughs> yeah isn't uh worth having or or anything that you can or anything that basically the the enemy can take away from us isn't worth having and there's only only really one thing he can take away from us is th this flesh this flesh that's it you, you know? know and uh in 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 that movie you know um they they literally had to fight for for their flesh okay fight to survive all right, but how about Shimei Al Shai has is is testing us again? He, he, he is testing us mm -hmm. to see you know where our faith lies, okay? Because our faith m needs to lie upon Him. All right, our joy, our hope, our desire. All right, J just to add on some more, you know, uh, cues. That, that brothers can link to because this truth, this this wisdom, that should be our main focus. That that should be our main desire, especially to get out of here. Alright? And it all stems from Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. You know? Mm -hmm. But Baba Kushai. And then we can jump into whatever you wanted to. I got one more. First Peter one and six. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So that's, that's what this thing is all about, you know, the trial of our faith. You know, because ultimately, you know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is really trying to see ultimately who's really down <laughs> for the cause. You know, because Yahweh Shah already got the victory. Time. You know, he already conquered death. All right. He fulfilled his lot in being that ultimate sacrifice. All right. In which covered the elect of the nation of Israel. So, really, the battle is already won. But on this side, we're proving really our, our loyalty and our faith through. See, through our works, too, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So like you, you got it. Through through our works and through the, this this flesh, because you know it says that you know we die all the day long, you know. So we 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 are dead in this society. Mm -hmm. This society really really doesn't want us anyway because we choose so like you, we have chosen our master, all right, and our master is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, uh, but you can pull that Ecclesiastes chapter 15, uh, start at verse, um, uh, start at verse 15, 15 and 15, Bible Shah. Come on, Sirach 15 and 15, it says, If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness, he hath set fire and water before thee, Stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. You know, so if 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 we desire, 
Bible Kusha. Read that first part again. Con, it says, if thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness. So if 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 we desire to keep the commandments and perform acceptable, all right, acceptable faithfulness, all right, because our faith is being tried, all right, the the things that you have learned, you know, you, you're going to have to play them out, and you're going to have to choose a side. Mm -hmm. and, yep. That, yep, yep. Verse 16, it says, He have set fire and water before thee, stretch forth thine hand unto whither thou wilt. You know, he, he has put fire, you know, life and uh, water, death before you, all right? Stretch forth your hand, you know, which one will you choose? Are you going to desire the things of the flesh or are you going to desire the things of the uh, of the of, of the spirit? All right? Because how about Shimmy Al Shai, he is the power of 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 the living. He is the power because the the spirit is alive all right because the flesh dies all the day long right so <laughs> yahweh by shimei Shai is the power of the living continue mm -hmm. it says verse 17 it says before man is life and death and whether him liketh shall be given him you know so so life and death again all right if 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 you want to be in this world and you want to live out your life uh, uh, or live out your death because you're going to be dead in the spirit. Baba Kusha, pull that Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. You know, just to fully expound that in this world, you're dead. All right, because you, you're you not living off the faith. You know, you're, you're, you're living your day-to-day -day life, you know, and nothing's going to get better because you're living in Esau's kingdom. All right, so I mean, I can pull it. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Baruch four and one. It says, "This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life." But such as leave it shall die. All right. So all that that keep it shall shall be quickened. All right. So they're gonna come to life. They're gonna understand the law, statutes, and commandments. They're gonna understand the righteous way. All right. And they're gonna live. All right. But if you leave it, or or, or you mistreat it, <laughs> you know, it's gonna lead you to uh, death. All right. And Go back to that Ecclesiasticus uh, 15, Baba Kusha. Real quick. Mm -hmm. You said the what, 15? Yeah, yeah. Sirach 15? Yeah. Sirach 15 and 17, it says, Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh shall be given him. See, so the the life is the the uh, living spirit of Yahweh by Shemel al Shai, and the death is uh, them that don't have it. All right? So it's already been a chosen ground well, so like yeah, it's always already been a choosing ground already you know in the uh, spirit you know who who will have it and who won't okay but you can go back to that Baruch and um, read too you know because it, it, it shows who it was given to you know but in this in this world the the people that was given to you know are choosing not to accept it Baruch 4 and 2, it says, Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. See, Jake, it was given unto you to understand the wisdom of the understanding, the, the blessings of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. But you choose to pull away the shoulder. So therefore, you're going to be left in the position where you're in. All right, the position of, uh, of, of death. You keep going in Baruch. Now uh, you you got something? Uh, I gotta find it. So kind of you you can go back to Ecclesiastes and read that last uh, Ecclesiastes fifteen, I believe you read seventeen. Mm -hmm. Is uh Sirach chapter fifteen, 
verse 17, it says, Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh shall be given him. So, whatever you like is going to be given unto you. Alright? If you choose to be a part of this world, then death is your portion. Alright? But if you choose to be a follower and to follow how by Shemel Shai in all of his ways, you know, life could possibly be given unto you. Okay? Uh, I got to find what I was looking for. Uh, Isaiah 28, 14 and 15, it says, Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, mm. that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Yeah. Talking be to Jake. Yep. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. That's a banger. And with hell, <laughs> and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come nigh unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Laying back on what we just read in uh, Sirach 15 and 17, right? With the prophets being waking up, being, you know, risen up in these times in the form of, you know, we believe the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, right? The opportunity, <laughs> a crossroads, <laughs> you know, is before all of us, you know, a proverbial line has been drawn in the sand, you know, and even though a lot of a lot of guys, a lot of so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they're Israelites, right, they American. willing they willingly choose still to to abide under the shadow of Egypt, right, in the form of these uh these these rogue camps, you know, and that's just what I'm gonna call it, you know, all these guys who I'm not even gonna say the names of the camps, we know the names of the camps. That have deviated from the breakdowns. They've deviated from the names. They, they they've deviated from the law. They've deviated right, you know. You and know? they're they're preaching they're preaching contrary to the scriptures. Heresies. That's death. That's that death. That's not just talking about Esau. That's death as well, man. Yeah. And they've literally made a covenant with death. You know these five hundred one c threes, these non profit agreements, right? All that is a covenant with death, man. So, so they can live privily on this side, in the flesh. They don't want to live in the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. They want to, uh, uh, what's that? Play, play the field, like, like, like these women out here. <laughs> they want to play the field. All right. So, it's it's, it's not going to work out for you. But and it shows that spirit. It shows that these other pe these people outside the circle. They lack fear and they lack faith Girl. in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They don't actually believe in what we're reading. They don't actually think that they're going to be held accountable for their actions. Ooh, you that, know, which is a which is a very fearful thing. Baba Kusha, since since you said that, could you pull that Ecclesiastes chapter two, um, um, two and uh, I think it's verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. You know, I perceive Baba Kusha. Sirach 2 and 13, it says, I'll read verse 12. Yeah. It says, Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. See? The sinner that go two ways, so they're double-minded. And a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yep. Okay? Yep. And that's exactly what that's exactly what you people are going to be all right, when all hell breaks loose. And this whole time, you've been knowing what the true breakdowns were. Right, you've been knowing that the that Revelation thirteen sixteen is talking about the sea hip, and yeah. you've willingly just been following these assholes. You're gonna be fucking unstable as a motherfucker. You're gonna be condemned in the spirit, and you're gonna get mowed down like a fucking piece of grass. Man. And hey, and call her loyal man how about shit me on shy man? Cause it it, it just shows your your true colors. Yeah. But and that's why the scriptures say, you know, uh, the judgment is gonna begin at the house of the Lord. You know, yeah. how about shit me on shy is getting ready to. Do a number on you niggas, man. And it's going to be a delightful thing to see. But you can keep on uh, reading down on that one. Sirach 2 and 13, it says, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. So he doesn't have any belief. He doesn't have any faith. He, he doesn't have a mind to desire the will, strength, and power. You have by Shemiah and Shai Hell. And most of these camps, they don't even call upon the name. So, you know, who's going to deliver you if if you don't know the name of your by Shimei Shai? Right. Come on now. Yep. <laughs> Continue. Yep. It says, Woe unto you that have, verse 14, 
Woe unto you that have lost patience. Ooh. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Oh, so how about Shimei Arashai? Is uh, What's that say uh, in uh, Sirach 23? How his eyes are 10,000 times more brighter than the sun. Mm -hmm. So he sees your works. He sees, you know, the, the things that you try to hide. He's, he's already there, as, as it says in the Psalms. You can't run from him, yeah. all right? Yeah. So so in the midst of your folly, in the midst of your bullshit, in the midst of you turning other men to the wrong path, judgment is due unto you, all right? And it, yeah. it's all by the will, strength, and power you have by Shimei Shai. So once your judgment is, 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 is done... All right, and 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 you receive your hell and damnation on this side. You're gonna be in the kingdom with your head down for a little bit, but you're gonna be in the kingdom. Okay, uh, but we we can finish up that 15. The, 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 the last verse is 18. Kind of. that, that I wanted to get Bible Kusha. Sirach 15 and 18. It says, "For the wisdom of the Lord is great, and He is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things." So he beholds all things, all right? He sees everything that you do bad, but he sees also everything that you do good, all right? But I read this verse. Baba Kusha. Verse 19, it says, And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. See? He, he, he His eyes are upon every man that fear him, all right? So if if you don't fear your how about Shimei al Shai, he ain't really looking at you, bro. But he sees all your uh, uh, shit. He sees everything, <laughs> but he he's not focused because he's focused on his elect. Yep. You know. So, hey, the water for listening. With that, shalom, Yahweh. Uh, so, 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 uh, yeah. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakhadash. Hey, shalom, shalom. Don't want to mock me.